What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about what you can do to move here to Las Vegas alone and how to make that journey just a little bit easier. All right, so like I said in this video guys, I'm going to be talking about how you can move here completely alone and just a little bit of pointers in my own experience and how I was able to do it and what made it a little bit easier for me to do. So before we hop into that guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below. We cover videos that you guys wanna cover, different vlogs, different things about Vegas, travel, all that different good stuff. So if you're interested in those, click that subscribe button, but let's get into this video. So the first thing to figure out obviously is where you're gonna live. So if you're moving here alone, make sure what I would suggest and what I did personally was I came and visited here, I rented a car and I drove around and I checked out the different areas. I had a list of about 10 different apartment complexes that I wanted to check out, which I know is excessive. I think I only actually looked at about five of them because once I started driving to certain areas, I realized that there were certain areas that I did not wanna be in. So I was able to actually just cross complexes off as I drove around. For example, there was one that was in the Northeast, kind of towards North Las Vegas, and I only had it on my list because of the price. But once I got into that area, I decided I wanted nothing to do with that area. So I was able to just completely X that entire area off my list, which helped me to be able to find where I wanted to live. So rent a car, do your research, maybe find a couple apartment complexes in the Northwest, maybe in the Southwest, maybe in the Northeast, maybe downtown, and just drive here around, check it out for yourself. I wouldn't suggest picking anything before moving here, especially if you've never been to Las Vegas, come here and visit first. Don't just move here without ever having been here because you're not really gonna know what you're getting yourself into. That may sound like exciting, and adventurous and I mean if that's if that's what you're into then hey go for it but I would always suggest driving flying somewhere just getting around exploring the town itself that's personally what I did before I moved to LA as well and before I moved here to Vegas so just decide where you're gonna live the best areas I would say in my opinion would be Spring Valley or Henderson if you like the downtown vibe you can live downtown there is some nicer condos there's some nicer uh, apartments that are currently being built, but just be aware with downtown, you're gonna have a little more crime, quite a bit more crime. You're gonna have a lot more homeless, you're gonna have more noise. So just be aware that if that's the type of environment you wanna be in, you're also gonna have some other problems. Now, the great thing about downtown is there's a lot you can walk to. Fremont Street is right there. There's a ton of little restaurants, bars, but you're also gonna have, again, a lot higher of a crime and just other issues that come along with that. So if you're planning on moving here, look into Spring Valley, look into Henderson. Those are two of my favorite spots. Okay, so now that you have some sort of idea of where you would like to live, what I would suggest is making sure you have a plan when you come here. You should be having some sort of income set up. You should be having an idea of what you wanna be doing or have a job ready, or you're coming here self-employed, or you're gonna be doing Uber or Lyft until you find a job, whatever it is, I would recommend having some sort of a plan. Don't come here just blindsided because it's gonna be already stressful moving and adjusting. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's gonna just add to that stress. And what's gonna happen is you're not even gonna know what you're doing. You're stressed out from everything around you. You're, you have all this uncertainty and you're not even gonna do anything. You're just gonna be almost like crippled. And I don't even know how to really explain it, but I've been in this situation many times where you have these different things that you know you need to do, that you wanna do, but you're, just, you're not doing them because you're overwhelmed. You just don't even know where to start. So have a plan, make sure that you have some sort of job set up. If you need help with finding a job, maybe you're not sure about what you wanna do. I made a video about how to find a job. There's a card right up here that you guys can check out for more information on that. But definitely come out here with some sort of plan because if you just move here without a plan, you're basically planning to fail, in my opinion. And the last tip that I wanna give you is if you're moving here on your own, it's gonna be very easy to possibly fall victim to different things. You're gonna be lonely at times. You know, you may want to go out dating. Um, there's gonna be a lot of different things and different feelings that come with moving alone. Maybe you're moving from, you know, you lived with all your family and now you're homesick. I know personally with me, that was something when I first moved to California, you know, I missed my family, I missed my friends, I still do, but I've learned to kind of accept it and realize that I'm here for a reason. I'm here to grow myself, so I need to focus on myself. I need to become the person that I need to be, 
and take care of myself so that then I can then take care of others and that I can, you know, be the best version of myself for everybody else. Because if you don't take care of yourself, then you're not going to be able to take care of anybody else or be your authentic self for anybody else because you're still not where you would like to be. So I would suggest don't worry about dating. Don't worry about trying to find somebody. I would recommend coming here, focusing on yourself, you know, realize what you came here to do. I don't know if that's to start a business. I don't know if that's to just start over in your life. I don't know what that is for you, but work on whatever it is that you came here for. And maybe there's a certain reason that you left a certain city, you left a certain place and you did move here alone. Maybe it was, you know, toxic family members. Maybe it was a bad relationship, you know, so don't run here and try to get immediately into a relationship or, you know, end up going back because, you know, you want to go back to that familiarity. Realize it is going to be tough when you're here on your own, but if you're working on yourself and you're progressing and you're doing the right things, the right person is going to come along. The right situations are going to come along. The right connections are going to come along if you're setting yourself up for them. Don't just pray and hope and have faith that things are going to work out. You need to make sure that you're taking the actions to back up that faith. So I would just, the biggest suggestion is just focus on yourself. Focus on doing what you came here to do. For me personally, like one of my things was I wanted to be 100% self-sufficient and I wanted to dedicate myself to making these YouTube videos. So I've been having a lot of faith in that for a while and I've recently just started finally taking, you know, serious action on doing it and now all of a sudden the channel is growing very fast. So when you put that action in, things are going to change for you very fast and when you get that you know, those little wins along the way, it's just gonna help build your confidence and you're just gonna keep going. I'm not telling you to just sit inside your house and not do anything. You know, there's plenty of meetup.com, there's, you know, walk around outside, you know, be friendly, be social. I'm not telling you to be antisocial here, but just focus on you is the most important thing that I can suggest. And the last thing I just wanna say before we close out this video, guys, is if things sound too good to be true, they probably are. Now, this is Las Vegas, so there's a lot of people here, there's a lot of greed here. You have that in every big city, you have that in every major city, but I feel like it's kind of different here because of the culture, the gambling, the money, the lifestyle, all these different things that come along with this culture. So just be aware that when things sound too good to be true, they probably are. And just to watch your back, just be careful who you spend time with, who you give your time to, who you let into your home, whose home you walk into, you never know. So just always use your head, make smart decisions, and I think you'll be just fine if you have a plan, you know where you wanna live, and you're working on yourself, and you're working every day towards your goals. I think that you will be just fine here. I'm living proof of it. I've been here over a year now, and here I am. I'm enjoying it, and I'm a lot better off this year than I was last year. So that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Any other questions, concerns, comments, video suggestions, drop them down below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe. See you in the next one.